Hello and welcome back to our community. If you're new, I'm Jen and I focus on all things self-care, health and wellness, living in New York City. So you guys absolutely loved my deep cleaning vlog when I cleaned every inch of this place after being away for three months. So we're gonna do it again. We also have a lot of organizing to do. So I've had these boxes from the container store sitting there for probably about a month since I moved back in. We are gonna start with organizing and then once we get like those boxes out of the way and things more consolidated and organized, then I'm gonna go in and just deep clean. I have a podcast that I'm going to be a guest on. It's called PR Edition in about an hour. So let's start with the organization and cleaning up the actual mess. And then after the podcast, we will get the gloves on and just scrub down. If you guys are excited for this video, please give a thumbs up. It really helps me out. It helps the algorithm and it helps people find our amazing community. Let's go. So how am I prepping and getting motivated, you ask? A strong iced coffee and I'm also watching the home edit. They're organizing Reese Witherspoon's closet right now, so like that's pretty motivational. Oh, no. I just cleaned the bed area and this area. So now I have this area wiped clear so I can start unpacking these boxes. We do a little container store haul with you. We'll implement some of it. It's gonna be great. Like I trust you. Exhibit A, I don't know that I have the strength to implement this right now until I'm fully decluttering my closet, which will probably be a whole nother vlog in itself, which are these shelf dividers. So on the top of the shelves on my in my closet where I throw sweaters and stuff, I can organize it more with these. I need to move this dresser. Please. Ah! There's so much, I went for it. So I got more of these for my pantry because I only have a few and that's the only organized part of my kitchen pantry. So I figured get more of these and then it'll be so easy. I feel like kitchens are the easiest thing to organize because you just get bins organized and bada bing bada boom. At least for me, kitchens seem way less daunting of a task than the closet. Comment down below if you agree or if you disagree. And if you disagree, I would love some closet tips. All right, I'm just gonna unpack all this and I will catch you in a gif. I have all my container stuff store behind me, which is so exciting. These were from Amazon, what I'm about to show you. So cheap. Oh, this could also be great for makeup brushes. I think we found its place. Let's keep going. Ah, ah. All right, everything's unpacked. That's all trash. So I'm gonna just walk through everything that I got that we're gonna implement. So I have these canisters for like flour and things like that. They're definitely bigger than I thought. I thought they were gonna be little mini ones for my chia seeds and stuff, but all good. Then this is an overdoor shoe bag, so I will definitely implement that because my shoe situation is crazy. I showed you I have these three pantry bins, and then these are just another set of shelf dividers. I'm thinking of using them in my drawers too because come, come into my office. My, I'm not good at folding, that's a big issue, but like, if I could fit them in here, I don't know if they're gonna fit, but if I could, just separate things, even like underwear, socks, whatever, that could be great. The main event is this jewelry organizer. I feel like you can't see it because it's Caesar, so you're seeing all the things behind it. Now you can see it a little better. So, this comes out. There's just so much space, it's bigger than I thought. And then lastly, I got two of these. They have the scooper in it, so actually this is probably better for flour because of the scooper. That is my container store haul. I will have all the prices and details linked down below for you. Oh, how could I forget? I got this thingamajig. As you can see, the wires are a whole nother issue that I have to figure out, but I don't like that in my mud. It's so messy, I'm sorry. I was clearing everything from here and moving it there. So ignore the mess, because we are dealing with that today, obviously. But 
the one thing I hate about my media console that I didn't think about when I purchased it is that you see everything in there. So when I'm sitting on my couch, I don't feel as zen out and relaxed. This whole thing needs a revamp. So I got this to throw all the stuff in there in. So at least it just, you know, you'll just see a nice clean bucket and we're trying to clean it up. So I will implement that today. And then I got these for my bathroom shelves. When you go in the bathroom, all you see are these on the shelves instead of all the actual products. I thought that would be cute. So excited to implement it all, I really am. I'm gonna go move those boxes out. And then in just a bit, I have to go get in podcast mode, like prep. So I'm gonna sit down in a bit and then dive right into deep cleaning. So get ready. Maybe we should just take it slow. I just say so myself, bringing this little table in here, my Lysol wipes so that I can clean off the makeup if I need to. If this fits in the shelf, pray for me. It does. Oh my goodness, it fits perfectly. I'm learning like I should probably have a plan. Normally I would just go right in, start seeing where makeup fits, but I should probably look at it, have a plan. What are the things I use most? Where would, you know, mascaras I definitely use most, where would those go? But I feel like that should go in, we'll see. I should probably think it through though. Me, but I ain't never coming down, never coming down. Cause lately I've been dancing on my own so brave. Highlighters, blushes, bronzer, another highlighter here, a little tester perfume. Then I have mini mascaras here, mascara here. I'll have more from these like bags that I have on my shelf. A contour stick here, a strobe cream, eyeshadow. I never wear eyeshadow unless I'm like going out, out. A powder, I have the Laura Mercier one in my medicine cabinet. And then this lipstick that I'll probably never wear and should probably throw out. And then in here, bronzers. All right, I will see you in a jiff. I don't know how to snap, but if I could, that'd be a cool transition. Let's try it. Did it work? Uh -huh. I just have my own passion for health and wellness and all things lifestyle, you know, rather than entertainment. So, of course, with my YouTube channel, which I'm sure I will get into, it just made more sense for me to go to an agency where I could do lifestyle. So, yeah, this was so fun. Okay, so I'm really looking forward to actually getting to the deep cleaning portion of this vlog, but let's finish up the makeup area and let's just get that done quick so we can clean. Steps on the ground hate me, but I ain't never coming down, never coming down. So this is what we did last vlog. We put all the toilet paper in a cute little basket from the container store. And now I have all my makeup right here. And you know, on eye level, you can't really see what's behind it, but all the bags that my makeup was in, I consolidated and put into one bag. 
and it's in the back because I want this up front so that I can pull from it easily. Now I'm gonna take one of those baskets that I got, put all my boyfriend stuff that he left here and he has up there in a basket. I was hurt. Buy some stupid thing I overheard. Now we officially have three of the five shelves organized. And it looks so much better already. I could spend all day reorganizing, but this place is like dusty as hell and it really needs a clean, so maybe we'll dive back into reorganizing. I'm doing both today. We'll see where life takes us, but let's dust, let's dust. Okay, I lied. I forgot that I have more of these, or I have one more, so I'm gonna put, I think, all this stuff in another bucket. Me, but I am never coming down, never coming down. Cause lately, I've been dancing on my own so now this is the main thing that needs to be fixed up. But look how much organizing we just did. That was so quick. Now we clean. Okay, so I'm going to put all of these little pantry things in the wash. Okay, so I just put those pantry items in the dishwasher and before we go scrub down my kitchen I just want to implement this bad boy This is so great for the sun, honey. Honestly, I know I said now we get to the kitchen part, but I'm just just go in with the flow. Once you get in a groove, you know, it's daunting at first to know where to start, but once you get in a groove, just things like stand out to you and you just go with it. So I'm gonna clean the yoga mat. And then I'm so excited to use Branch Basics. It is a non-toxic cleaning brand. They sent me a bunch of stuff and I'm excited to just dive in and clean my whole apartment and we'll see if we like them. We're strangers, feel like we're far apart. I'm assuming there's some sort of explanation here. Okay, so there's one big thing of the concentrate, and then this is an oxygen boost, and then all of these other things with labels on them, like laundry, foaming, blah, 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 bathrooms, they're empty. Let's see what this is about. Let's start with all purpose. Okay, water to the water line. Now soap to the soap line. Okay, let's see if this was necessary. I'm just lazy. It really was the easiest thing ever. This one's done. All right, we got hand soap. This is truly one of the most interesting things ever. It is super cute, I have to say. Like all of the branding of all this is really cute. That was oddly soothing and fun, I have to say, kind of therapeutic. All right, let's dive in. I moved everything away from the stove area, so we're gonna start on the stove. Branch Basics. It for sure works. I just used the bathroom one on the sink and it's sparkling. It's sparkling. It definitely works really well on the sink and those types of areas. 
It just doesn't have a scent, so if you like things that are scentless, 100% go for it. I still have to look on their website. They may have scents, and they just sent me like the basic one, although their name is Burnt Basic, so maybe it's just basic. However, so I have to say, this method one is also non-toxic and plant-based and naturally derived, all that type of stuff, and it's French lavender, and it smells really good. And I, I just need like some lavender or lemon. I personally love the, the smell of cleanliness, not getting that, but I'm still gonna use it on my sinks and stuff because it's really working. And I'm sure if I add the oxygen boost to the stove, it would have worked like a freaking charm. Like it's definitely all sparkling in here. dry swiffers to get the dust off of everything on the floor. I then am going to take them with my hands and just dust off all the countertops. Okay, I dry cleaned everything. Not like with a dry cleaner. I dry dusted everything. Now I'm going to use some wet supplies and scrub everything down and then we're good to go for today. It's blinding. These are the best things ever. I also sometimes just use these with my hands for surfaces. Maybe we should just take it slow. Just gonna scrub so oh I didn't do this okay I'm gonna do this to the kitchen then put it away then just scrub surfaces for the rest of the place occasionally I need to breathe stop me for a second I got needs occasionally I set them free don't hold me back now I'm in the lead this part the mirror cleaner to do the mirrors and we're good to go my Matthew McConaughey. You guys, if you need something to motivate you before or during your reorganization or cleaning, or need to watch something to motivate you, watch the home edit on Netflix. Watching it while I was cleaning, I felt like I was doing it with them. It was really fabulous, highly recommend. Let me sit down to say goodbye. Thank you guys for spending the day with me and cleaning with me. Follow along on my journey. I have plenty of other decluttering and cleaning vlogs in the past and tons more organization to come. If you enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe so we can keep hanging out and click the notification bell so that you never miss a step on my organization journey. But I also do tons of self-care, health and wellness and New York City vlogs as well. Thanks for spending the day with me. Love you guys and please stay healthy and wear a mask. Me, but I